You guys, the Northwest largest garage sale event totally delivered and I cannot wait to show you what I got. Okay, so we're in my studio and I have so many things to show you. My favorite thing to thrift is art. You guys know this if you watch me and I got five pieces of original art. So that is like in and of itself a total win for me. So I can't wait to show you what I got. I have brass, I have uh, pottery, I have art, like I said. I have so many collected pieces. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so because art is my favorite, let's just kick things off with my very, very favorite piece of art that I got. And it is this beautiful original painting. I absolutely fell in love instantly when I saw these like pinkish orange tone. These are absolutely some of my very favorite colors. I have other artwork in the studio that definitely matches this. I could not believe that it's like, there's like this mauve tone because it totally is like matching with like my chair vibes. I mean, I just could not believe it. So this is $25. That's one thing. I'm gonna try to give you all the pricing as I go. Just know the pricing of this event is so good. And most of the pieces were, gosh, like $5 or less. Some of the art was a little bit more, uh, but most things were really, really cheap. So this piece uh, was $25. This is probably the most expensive piece of art that I picked up, but yeah, $25 for this. I just thought it was absolutely incredible. Artist sign in the bottom, just a total stunner. Okay, so lucky for you guys, a lot of what I bought will actually be available at my Etsy shop. I'm not going to keep like all the good stuff, I promise, except for like the art. A lot of times the art is what I keep because it's just so rare to find original paintings that speak to me here. Uh, but something that will be available at my Etsy shop is this amazing vintage jar. Now this cork is intense. I mean, look at the size of this cork. It is amazing. So yeah, so it's handmade, artist sign in the bottom, even dated 1972. So amazing find. These sell really well because they're just so rare, especially with the cork. A lot of times, depending on what someone stored in it, the cork can actually mold on the bottom, which is like very gross. So you always like check it out. But yeah, I mean, this is just so cool. Amazing in a kitchen, on a shelf, really anywhere you want to style it. But yeah, look at this glaze. So yeah, anytime I see these, I pick them up. So this was $9. I actually got it for less because I bundled a few things, but it was like priced at nine bucks. I mean, amazing, just amazing find. So yeah, when I saw this, I had to grab it. Okay, so actually the first purchase that I got was this beautiful doll. Now I actually started to collect these. So I collect Russian nesting dolls and now I'm starting to collect these. I just think they're so fun and minimalist. I have two others, so now I have three. So I'm sorry, this will not be available in my Etsy shop, but I'll sh like put on screen um, the ones that I found so far. But this is definitely like the one that is in the best shape. It was $5, another thing that was $5. So yeah, I just thought she was so pretty. And then of course, like the tones, you know, the pinky tones, just absolutely fell in love. So something that always sells for me every time I find them are these studded brass apples. Well, brass apples in general, if you are an OG original watcher, you know that anytime you break up a brass apple, it sells, especially around the time of like teacher appreciation in the fall. Uh, but anyways, yeah, this, so I got this guy and it actually came as a set for $5. Yes, another $5 seemed to be like the magic number. Um, so yeah, so it's like this like brass and um, silver studded apple and then this one here too. So yeah, I thought these were so great. I think they're just so fun and textural um, and they always sell. And so $5 for the pair, I was like, absolutely. And these will be available in my Etsy shop. So you guys know that I always pick up one-off brass candlesticks and that's because I make sets to sell my Etsy shop. And so I found these two, they were a dollar each, which is great. Usually it's, if it's under five bucks, then I grab them because then I have margin for when I build like the sets of seven. So yeah, I thought these were beautiful. Just know I shined up all of the brass that I'm gonna show you today. Well, except for like a couple pieces. Most of the brass I shined up. So if you're like, oh my gosh, they just like had the shiniest brass at this event. No, I actually did a pre-shine because I'm already photographing this stuff to get up into my Etsy shop before the video goes out. Um, so yeah, so anytime I see these, have to pick them up and these will be available and set soon. Okay, so can you tell that I'm really excited about what I got because I feel like my breath, I'm like losing my breath. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm winded. Okay, so let's we'll take a break from some of the smalls and I'll show you some more artwork that I got. So this piece here, I got for $3. I'm not even joking, $3. So it's an original landscape painting framed, 
$3 frames. This is the type of pricing you can get at this event. And this is very rare for me. Usually I'm not finding stuff this cheap, especially at a thrift store. This is like better than thrift store pricing. So yeah, I thought this was absolutely beautiful, especially like where I live in the Pacific Northwest, which is you know, this type of landscape I am seeing. I'm lucky enough to see this all the time. And so, um, yeah, grab this, especially for $3. I will not be keeping it. Uh, so this will be available in my Etsy shop. But yeah, I just thought this was an absolute stunner. I'm definitely gonna get a little bit of mileage out of it while I wait for it to sell for styling because it just is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so another piece of art that I got is this very cool, almost like it's like European streetscape. Um, not art assigned, but uh, maybe, well, maybe that's the name of the shop. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely original. It's painted on board. It's older. I just thought it was really, really beautiful. These actually are my mom's color. So I actually picked it up for her maybe. So I don't know. It may or may not be available in my Etsy shop um, because she may, as soon as I like, she wants to take everything I buy basically. Um, and then when anytime I say like, oh, this could be for you, she's like, oh, yes, a hundred percent. So this may or may not be available. It just depends on how much space she has for all the goodies that I'm always finding. But yeah, I thought this was absolutely stunning. I am so mad because this picture was next to another picture that was also, this was $5. The other picture was $5 and I didn't pick it up. Oh, this is like one of the things that I want to communicate to all of you. This is like Andy's message to you. If you're ever at an event and the pricing is good, just buy all the things <laughs> because I always like start out buying and they're like, Ooh, should I like not buy as much stuff because I you have know, some other thrifting things I'm going to. And you know, I want to be mindful of the budget. And then I like, come back home and I'm like, that was so dumb. It was like $5. Why didn't I buy that piece of art for $5? So this is like me telling you buy the thing when you see it, because otherwise you'll be just like living in regret with me. I'll pop something on the screen so you can see what I should have. And you know, I did a reel on it for Instagram. And of course, what did someone say? Did you buy that painting? I want it. So I would have already, I would have sold it already. So anyways, you live and you learn, but yeah, this piece is amazing. And I have actually, three more pieces of art to show you. Brass trays, you know if you watch, are something that I always am buying. And this is a hot seller for me with this, the cutout edges here and then the right inside here with all of the etch, I don't know if you can see that on screen, all the etch details. So these are beautiful. They're wonderful for styling on a surface. Um, I have not shined this guy up because I just thought the patina on this was really, really good because it's already shiny, but aged. It wasn't dirty. Where the other brass that I shined up, was pretty dirty and dingy. And so when it's this pretty, but still has a patina, usually I'll leave it. So this will be available in my Etsy shop. And then the other brass item I got is this beautiful bowl with all the cutouts. And it has like these little, like little, little teeny tiny feet. So I actually have a pedestal bowl that looks exactly like this, but it has that pedestal um, base. If you watch and you have memorized all my things, you may like recognize it. Um, I keep my bananas in it. But yeah, this was uh, $5 and this was $10. So usually trays, if I can get them, depending on how much I sell them for, if I can get them for under 20, um, that especially if they're like big, then that's great. If it's like medium size for this, I usually try to pay around 10. Um, yeah, and this was like $5 it was like a screaming good deal. So yeah, this will be available in my Etsy shop. I haven't decided if I'm gonna shine this up. So you guys gonna let me know. Cause this patina looks actually pretty good, but it's not as shiny as you can tell. Like this one, this one is like gleaming. So let me know if you think I should shine it up. Uh, but yeah, both will be available in my Etsy shop. So I have a lot more things to show you. This was like a very great haul. Um, another brass item that's not vintage, but something that I was just like, you know what? $5, $5 again, I had to pick it up. So this is a brass Buddha head. We're redoing our backyard now that we um, moved into our new house and I'm trying to find like fun outdoor, like items like this that are like, have like a Zen atmosphere because it's, uh, we have a fountain, it's old. And anyways, we're trying to create a vibe in the backyard. So I will show you guys when it's done, but I picked this up for $5. How I know or believe it's not old is that it has this on the bottom. Now someone could, it's like a, like a black foam. Now someone could have absolutely as a vendor seller put this on because I do know that sometimes sellers will replace, um, you know, 
parts on the bottom like this that have like are worn, um, especially for displaying if they don't want it to scratch up anything that they're displaying on. Uh, or sometimes just as a courtesy to the buyer, they'll replace the felting. Um, so usually the felting or what's on the bottom of a piece like this really is a good indicator of the age. Uh, but just know it's not foolproof because sometimes, like I said, a reseller can actually like clean it up for you and make it a little bit newer. So I don't think this is old, um, but it is all brass. So because of that, I definitely picked it up. Okay, so more candlesticks. Now I am working on creating a set of wooden candlesticks. So I don't come across these very often. So when I got these, I thought that they were really, really cute. So they're three different sizes, which is great. They have this awesome brass detail. They're just very rustic, classic candlesticks. And so I just thought they were really pretty. I'm hoping to find a few more and then I can put together like a collection like I do with my brass. Ooh, this is like one of those instances where I'm talking about where it has like the old school felting, green felting like this, especially in this color. It's not something that's in use really much anymore. Uh, so that's how you can kind of date the piece knowing that it's actually vintage. So this will be, these will be available in my Etsy shop. I'm probably going to include them in that set that I am building out. Um, or I may sell it as a set of three. So if you wanted a set of three, let me know and I can put them aside. Otherwise they will be in a much larger set that I am still building. So another thing I picked up is this very cool wooden ladle thing. I thought it was absolutely stunning in all its rustic glory. Stuff like this is really popular right now because people are going, getting back to that rustic minimalism, which is pieces like this. It has like just the most wonderful patina. The person who sold it to me said that it was her grandmother's. Um, and so this is definitely a very old piece. It has the nice like hole here so you could string and hang it up um, in a wall. Like if you have pots and pans, this would add another element to that, which would be really interesting. Or if you had a gallery wall, this would add another interesting element. And then of course on a surface used to style it up with, with items. I mean, there's just, there's so much versatility in a piece like this. So yeah, I, this was actually something I paid a little up for, uh, $15, which I thought was, was really good because something like this is so in right now with all this rustic primitive type of stuff that's really popular. So yeah, can't wait to get this into my Etsy shop, but yeah, this will be available for you guys. So one of my favorite things about going to events like this, like the big like thrifting events is that you get to see all the other thrifters that are in the community. We have a very vibrant reselling community here. We have so many antique malls, thrift stores, you name it. So this is a very big sourcing event for everybody. And also there are, of course, vendors there too. Um, and so I was very excited that one of my favorite vendors was there. I'll put her name on the screen. Um, and so her booth, they, it was already shopped out, which was a bummer. I was hoping to get more stuff from her because last time I went, I got a lot of stuff, but I did manage to score this very cool rustic stool. Now I have been looking for something like this ever since I took a um, weaving stool making class. This was last year. It was amazing. It fell in love with stool making. Um, and I really like one day want to do that again. Um, so anyways, um, now that I know how to weave on top, I have been looking for a stool that I can do that with. So I'm going to remove this like macrame that she did. It's a little bit dirty because she said she uses a plant stand. Um, and then I'm going to actually do some sort of weaving on it. I'm not sure if I'm going to change the color of um, the stool legs um, because I kind of like them. Uh, this kind of color and this was yeah 12 bucks which I thought was great especially for like a project piece but I'm considering it actually you know what I am just gonna show you what I mean because you're probably like Andy I don't understand what you mean you're gonna weave the top of it so let me show you okay so some of you know that I made this if you follow me on Instagram um, but others you may not know but yeah so I took a stool making class this was last year it was a whole weekend like morning to night it took um, oh God, so many hours, so many hours, but I actually like used hand tools to carve all the pieces of the stool and bring and then hammer it together. And then I wove the top. I weave, wove. Well, is that a word? Wove. I weaved the top of it. So this is the type of thing that I want to do. So I've been trying to find something like this. So now you can kind of see, see what I mean? Yeah. So. That is what I'm planning to do. So I got to get this um, like webbing and then I also need to find stuff to puff it up because actually inside of this, just so as a FYI, I know we're like going in a different direction, but FYI inside here are actually all of the wood shavings 
from this piece are actually inside. And then also a really fun note that you're supposed to write to the person who has the stool or will own the stool. So anyway, so yeah, this is like one of my projects that I'm going to do. So this will not be available in my Etsy shop. Uh, but yeah, really excited to tackle that DIY project. All right, so getting back to all the stuff, so many more things to show you. I'm gonna show you all the teeny tiny brass pieces I picked up, cause you know I love anything teeny tiny, especially teeny tiny brass. So I happened upon a booth that, so there was almost no brass at this um, market, which all of us were of course going there looking for it because it's still a hot seller. Uh, but there was one booth who had a few tiny pieces left. So I got this really cute crane. I'm assuming it's like a crane. Um, here we go. This was catching my face a little bit. So I shined it up. I think it's beautiful. These mini cranes and mini birds like this always sell well for me. So this will be available in my Etsy shop. So if you did not get the last one um, that I listed because I don't find these very often, you'll be happy to know this will be available. I also got, speaking of Buddha, I'm not sure why I have two Buddhas, um, but I did get this cute little mini Buddha, which I thought was adorable. So I just could not like turn it down. It was too cute. <laughs> I got this. Um, little kangaroo on a leaf. I don't know. I just, you know me, I can't turn down anything little and cute. And so I was just like, yeah, give me that too. Like, well, I don't need it, but maybe I'll try to sell it. And then of course, like the best pieces are these mini candlesticks. And so the, this type of brass I was asking my husband about it. I think it's called unlacquered brass because this is after me shining it up and it still has like this dull finish. So I'm thinking it might be a different type of brass. I definitely very rarely see this tone. Usually it's like an orangey or it can almost go pinky, but not like this true yellow. So anyways, I thought these were beautiful. They fit a very, very slim candle. Um, I haven't decided if I'm gonna sell these or keep these because, <sighs> So I don't find these very often. <laughs> so what I do, I want to keep them. So I'm going to be going to Europe in a few months. And so maybe there I'll find more of these because these are definitely like, I'm sure I'm going to find more of these there. Um, and because it's just, you know, older, everything is older there. Um, so maybe these will be available if I find something better, but oof, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably going to end up keeping them forever because they're just so great. And these for styling are amazing. So all of these, each of these were like $2 a piece which I thought was totally fair. More many things to show you because you know, I just love anything small. I thought this hand was adorable. So it's very tiny. Used to have a hook on the bottom. Not sure why it would have, uh, but I'm starting to collect hands. Um, I don't know if any one of you follows the White Pepper Vintage on Instagram. Um, I'll put the name on the screen. She has the most amazing collections of just really like so many things. Um, and hands are one of the things that she does and collect. And when I saw her collection, this was like a few years ago, I was like, oh my gosh, I need a collection of hands. So I'm slowly accumulating. So this will not be available in my Etsy shop because this makes number four. So I need to find a lot more, but I thought it was so cute and it was only two bucks. And the final mini item is this cute Tonala owl. I love Tonala pottery. It sells really well for me. Anytime I find it, I pick it up. And I actually like bought this for my mom because my mom also loves Tonala pottery. And I don't think she has a little owl. So we'll see. It may be available in my Etsy shop. It may not. It was only $3, which I thought was a really good deal. Um, yeah, I actually bought a lot in this person's booth because they have so many amazing pieces. So yeah, that is super, super cute. I love owls. Well, I love any animal, especially if it's teeny tiny. I just can't help myself. So yeah, this may or may not be available in my Etsy shop. Okay, so another animal thing to show you is this adorable ceramic vintage dachshund. So this is a, I'm assuming it's a planter. I guess it probably could have been to serve food in too. That's the hard part is like when you pick up, this is something just as FYI to you guys. Um, when you pick something up that's ceramic, it may or may not have a food safe glaze on it. And so you'll want to make sure that if it's something like this that you probably can identify the manufacturer for, um, if you do some like Googling, check to make sure that the glaze was food safe because you don't want to put like snackies in it at your party and then, you know, the people get lead poisoning. Um, I know that sounds dramatic, but seriously, you do always want to know if the glaze is uh, food safe or not because they are not all food safe. So anyways, this could have been a planter too. I think it would be adorable with like air plants or succulents or other cactus in it, which would be very cute. So this may be for my cousin because she's moving into a new house and she loves dachshunds like I do. So I kind of picked it up with her. My, so it may not be available in my Etsy shop, but I have to make sure she does want it because, you know, I hate gifting things to people and they're like, oh, great, thanks. And then 
they don't want it. And then I could have sold it. So I'm going to pre-check with her first. But um, yeah, by the time this video goes up, it may or may not be available at Manatee Shop. Another ceramic piece is this vase. Now I'm picking up fewer and fewer ceramic pieces just because I feel like ceramics are cooling down just a little bit, at least for me. I'm having a harder time selling them. But this piece, I love an animal print. And this reminded me of tiger stripes, of course. And so I couldn't say no to it. So it was very cheap. I would say it was less than five bucks. So I had to get it. It's artist signed on the bottom. And I just thought the tones of the caramel and the black were just so unique, especially like on a shelf. I mean, this will be so eye catching. So this may or may not be available because like I said, I love an animal, animal print. So we'll see um, at the time of this video posting if I have decided, you know what, I have too much and I need to get rid of it. So uh, we'll see. But yeah, when I saw this, I thought, you know what, these stripes and stuff like this, very eye-catching and would look amazing on a shelf. So we're down to the final three items. I got to remember, well, actually, I'm going to show you now because I'm going to get to the end of this video and forget to show you my pillow. So, because I've been having it to, to prop me up. So this pillow was one of the first things I got in the day. I thought it was really, really lovely because it's like that needlepoint and this color again is showing up everywhere. I mean, look at how good. See the tones. It's just like amazing. So um, I washed it. So it's now kind of like extra weird and poofy. So I got to like really need to spend some time like getting it back. Um, into the right shape because it's definitely like more like a meatball than it is like a, p a pillow shape but I just thought the colors on it were beautiful um yeah I just you know very rarely am I coming across pillows like this that are needlepoint and especially in this color palette so this will be just for me because I think it looks fun in my studio space um which I plan I promise I'm gonna do a tour soon so yeah I thought this was very adorable so I'm keeping it um but yeah I was super excited I think it was I want to say it was under 10 bucks, which is like amazing. Like I said, practically everything in this haul was like $5. And speaking of $5, this was also $5. So last two pieces to show you are, um, are uh, original pieces of art. I got them in the same really beautifully curated booth, which is not always the case when you go to these things. Sometimes it can be a bit of a free for all junk pile, but this had some amazing art. I am not a huge dog lover. Like I like dogs, but I'm not a person who would say like, oh, I love all dogs. That's not me. But I know that those people exist. So I figured this will be someone's dog. And so I had to pick it up, especially for $5. Even if it's not your dog, um, I still think it's a very cool piece. Um, it's definitely like more minimalist um, just because it's the dog and like these beautiful like greeny tones. Um, yeah, the detailing and the warmth of the dog's um, fur color. I just thought it was really stunning. And for $5, I was like, shoot. Sign me up. Okay, so adding on my, probably my second favorite item. So that first painting, this one, my very favorite thing I got um, that I will be keeping. And then the second thing is this piece of art too. So it's very, very like, to me, like hippie, psychedelic, retro. It is absolutely filthy. Like about as filthy as it gets. Every time I touch it, I feel like, I gotta wash my hands, um, which is sometimes how art is. Now I could wash this, but I kind of like how the patina or how the dirt kind of gives it a patina and dulls the colors. So it's very colorful, but it's not like, not as like psychedelic as I feel like it could have been. Like back in the day, these colors would have been positively like fluorescent. Um, so yeah, I thought this was beautiful. My husband actually really likes it. So I can't wait to frame it. Um, that will kind of help with the fact that it's super dirty um, and yeah, rusty and there's a nail sticking down and you definitely don't want to get tetanus over your thrift find. So yeah, I cannot wait to get this up. We're starting to kind of do the fun decorating stuff in our house, which includes doing gallery walls everywhere. And so I can't wait to get this frame. I'm going to do a lot of framing um, of all my art because most of my art that I get, I don't get, for, it's usually like a canvas and not framed. Um, or the frame is like really icky and it makes the painting look sad versus like fun. Okay, so that's all I have to show you. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what items were your favorite. And if you're looking for more thrifting and decorating content between my haul videos, make sure you check me out on Instagram and TikTok. Thanks again for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next thrifting and decorating video. Take care.